Good morning, lovelies, and happy Friday, TGIF. Um, I am running some errands this morning as well as I have a meeting um, in about an hour or so, or so, and so therefore I'm a little made over today. You don't see me looking like wet dog, yay! Um, I wanted to um, share some fun and exciting news. So. Those of you that know and follow my page already know that I've put my first order in today. So um, that's fantastic and fabulous. Uh, I'm sorry, I said today. I put my first order in this week. I actually went ahead and put two orders in. This stuff is selling like crazy. Many of the colors are out of stock. And I have so many folks that are already buying from me and I don't have inventory yet that I'm actually starting to acquire some of this stuff. And then I have to give some of my inventory back to the person that I'm hijacking from. So um, some of you folks, I will actually have your items hopefully by early next week. They are being sent to me today, going into the mail. And um, I will also have a few more testers because some of those colors that are being sent, I'm keeping. <laughs> Um, so that's exciting. Uh, as you are aware, there is a contest going on right now as well for a free lip color. Um, so what you want to do, um, even if you are new to the page, uh, if you see that contest, that contest is not over until I get my lip sense shipment from corporate. So, um, even though I'm getting that shipment early next week of some additional colors that I'm swapping, um, for the colors that I get, that's not my official shipment. So the contest ends when I receive that shipment. So if you are new to the page and you want to participate in the free lip color giveaway, just go ahead, um, uh, invite a new member to the group, uh, tag them in the comments section of that um, raffle contest, and then go ahead and like my, um, my business page which is uh, our bond by Margie Pasden. So once you do all that and I receive my shipments, um, I will open it live and then um, I will um, go ahead and probably later that night, um, just to give everybody kind of a fair advantage, go ahead and draw that name. So super exciting and I hope that winner really enjoys their um, lip color. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to talk about today is um, the process. So um, I know I kind of went through the three steps, et cetera, but I didn't actually, um, you know, tell you a little bit of how it feels, you know, what, you know, why you do certain things and, and the experiences that you might have with it. So first and foremost, um, if you're not a user of chapsticks, or even if you are, chapsticks, lip glosses, you know, if you put anything on your lips, and I think probably about 98% of us do, um, there's buildup on there um, due to the fact that it's winter, our lips are chapped, they're dry. There is an exfoliation process with this. So the ingredients that are actually in these lip color pigments, they might cause our lips to tingle. That's totally normal. It actually means it's doing its due process and exfoliating our lips, which is awesome. As I mentioned, my lips have never felt better. They're super, super soft, which is awesome. And um, I've also noticed that the lip color stays on even longer than it has in the past. So it's great. You know, you definitely want to go through that. It's not a bad tingle. It's just surprising. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you're not surprised when you put it on. Um, additionally, when you do start putting on your layers, start thin. You know, you don't want to goop it on too thick. It can peel. So um, you want to do three thin layers. It's, you know, fairly pigmented. So um, it will go on by the third layer really nicely. It's kind of like nail polish. You don't want to do an, an over thick blob on their first coat because it's just not going to look right. And it's going to, you know, sometimes it does peel. So go with thin layers. And the other thing that I noticed is I think the color actually, as it dries, kind of darkens. So it's a little bit different than paint on a wall, which actually lightens. Um, so just a heads up on that. So you definitely want to go thin. And I wanted to tell you about that tingle and, um, and talk a little bit more about the process and the kit. So um, as I mentioned, you're going to go ahead and put three thin coats on and you layer um, you know, you do the top layer with your gloss, whether matte or glossy, or even if you guys want to order with me some different hued ones, um, or ones with, uh, diamond chips in it, shimmer, etc. Um, that is your sealant. So that's the stuff that you want to keep with you all day and kind of reapply to really keep sealing that color in for the majority of the day. 
Now, the kit itself comes with three different items. You get your gloss, you get your lip color, and you get the Oops Remover. You don't have to buy the kit in its entirety. Um, it's completely up to you and whether or not you want to, uh, to take on the Oops Remover. However, um, you definitely need a lip color and the gloss. Uh, another gloss from a different um, a brand will not work and it'll probably chip away at the color. So you're going to be dissatisfied. So you definitely want those two items. The Oops is really optional. Um, my suggestion to you, if you are a person that's um, not great at lip color, um, probably starting with a light shade, as most of us do, um, and you feel like you kind of have an unsteady hand with that stuff, you may consider the Oops Remover, um, as it does help with kind of removing anything that you get, you know, past your lip line, um, if you went a little bit too far, etc. cetera. So um, for me, it's not the best thing to take off the entire color. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I use it for smudges. Uh, I've been using makeup for a long time. I think I'm great with makeup. People ask me to put it on them. But you know what? I have smudges. You know, I, I use the oops on occasion. It happens. Um, you know, but again, it's, it's completely up to you on whether you guys want to buy the oops. Am I completely sold on it? I don't know, but, um, but it's completely, you know, the oops is definitely optional. Um, what I do want to mention is that if you want to completely remove the color, what I use is I use the Neutrogena soap bar from, that I got at Walmart for like a buck 96. Um, I put a little bit on my lips. I, oh, thank you, Nikki. <laughs> She says, my hair looks good. <laughs> I actually don't look like wet dog today. Um, I have an appointment, that's why. <laughs> anyway, sidetrack. <laughs> Clearly, I uh, can go on a tangent very quickly. Um, so, um, you know, if you want to completely remove the color, um, use that Neutrogena bar. I just wet the bar, put it on my lips, literally rub my lips for four seconds. You'll see it start coming off. Wet it with water, you're done. So instead of buying the $10 Oops Remover which is only, you know, my personal experience is only good for just smudges. Um, if you want to remove the color in its entirety, save that money and get the $2 bar from Walmart. It'll last you forever. I don't use it on my face. I mean, you, I guess, could. Um, I'm not a fan of soap on the face because it dries out the skin. But um, it does take off the color very, very nicely. And then what you want to do is um, if you want to keep those lips moist, then you can go ahead and gloss for the night um, just to keep uh, that aloe vera in um, and keep your lips soft. So um, I think that's a little bit additional about the whole process and kind of the experience of using it. If anybody has any additional questions, that's great. Um, I do still only have the four testers, but I will be getting more colors hopefully by early next week so you can see them on me and I'll have them as testers if you see me and want to try anything out. Um, shipment hasn't shipped yet, but so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to mix, I've been mixing two different colors, um, to achieve kind of a color that I want. And today I'm going to go crazy and do three. So I'm trying to decide, and I want to be too crazy. I'm going to try to achieve some sort of a coral combo by using Fly Girl, Raspberry, and Praline Rose. So Fly Girl, we all know it's that really dark red. Um, I am missing, it's a cool red though, so it doesn't have too much orange in it. I don't know if I'm quite going to get coral, but um, this is raspberry, which is a super bright pink. And then because it is only, what, 1030 in the morning, I'm going to tone it down with praline rose. So um, we'll see what I get. I'm sure it'll still be a nice color, so bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff on. As always, shake. I just lick my lips. And the other thing you don't want to do is you want to have your lips completely dry. So bad me for licking my lips. All right, first coat. Very red. Shake, shake, shake the pink. Second coat. Let's 
still looks very pink or very red pink, but in natural light, the way I'm looking at it, it actually does have a hint of coral. Definitely still more on the uh, red and pink side than orange because I don't really have any orange. I'm shaking the wrong color. Praline Rose, third coat. Tone it down a little bit. Don't want to look crazy for my 11 o'clock appointment here. Although we all know I'm Margie and I like my crazy colors. No one's going to tell me otherwise. T, how are you? All right, I've toned it down. It's actually a really pretty color. Um, it looks very pigmented. You know, my lips are sticking. Got to keep them parted and put the gloss on. I'm going to go with glossy gloss today. All right, I'm fully sealed. No, I'm not. I can feel it sticking up my uh, corners. Fully sealed. We're going to go ahead and do the kiss test. Nothing on my hand. This color doesn't budge. It ain't going anywhere. It's awesome. Of course, I'm going to have to reapply some gloss. Um, this will be on for the majority of the day today. So I'm going to go ahead and just carry my gloss with me. And um, I don't have to worry about reapplying my lipstick. So I put a little bit of makeup on today so I don't look too pale. This light is giving me um, a fairly white face. But <laughs> um, anyway, so again, thanks for joining. Um, I will have some new color testers hopefully by Monday or Tuesday. And um, I won't be putting on the same old colors. But if you want to try this stuff, let me know. Um, I'm at, at this point trying to carry some in my bag um, with some tester applicators so anybody can try it. But it, this stuff is amazing. Um, if you have any particular questions, um, let me know. Thanks, T. Lashes, courtesy of Rosie. Um, <laughs> if, uh, if you guys want to know more about lashes, let me know and I will hook you up with her. She's pretty amazing. So again, a little bit of gloss. Since I started uh, smudging my fingers all over it, trying to show you guys that it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm good for the day. Hope you guys have an amazing Friday. And if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.